Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Do we have any Virginians in the House? I rise today in support of my legislation. A politician who can't do public speaking will be a former politician before too long. My campaign is not about gloom and doom. Are you aware of that letter? Last year, I was diagnosed with progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP. It's basically Parkinson's on steroids, and I don't recommend it. I didn't anticipate being at the forefront of a debate over the future of AI. I also hadn't expected to make history by using a text-to-speech device on the House floor. But this AI voice model has given me a new opportunity to have my voice heard, and it reminds listeners that I'm still me. To be able to hear someone's voice in that way is just game-changing. There may be ways to make this more of a reality for people living with PSP than we could have ever imagined. I still believe that the dangerous potential of AI technology must be better understood and steps must be taken to prevent abuses of the technology like deep fakes from proliferating. And part of that falls on lawmakers like us in Congress. For the many Americans facing health-related speech challenges, this might be a way for them to get their voices back too. At the end of the day, it will never be me. But it's more me than I ever could have hoped I'd hear again. And for that, I'm so grateful and excited. I plan to make the most of it.